in the Marvel Universe, anyone can end up as a superhero, even a seemingly ordinary mall rat. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we will explore the comic book origins of Jubilee. Halt, mutant! Oh, I just want to go home. As with most comic book characters, there are often reimaginings and different versions to a character's past. We've chosen to primarily follow the storyline which unfolded in 1989's Uncanny X-Men number 244 and 1993's Wolverine Volume 2 number 72, which was expanded upon in 1997's Generation X number 24. The young mutant named Jubilation Lee, better known by her codename Jubilee, embarked upon her career in 1989's Uncanny X-Men number 244. Not a great deal was revealed about her origin in her debut story. Readers were simply introduced to a teenage girl who enjoyed hanging out at the Hollywood Mall and performing awesome pyrotechnical tricks. Unfortunately, Jubilee's act clearly irritated the head of mall security, who resented the challenge she represented to his authority. As the mall security team chased her, pieces of Jubilee's story were revealed. She was a street kid now, but she used to go to the exclusive Beverly Hills Prep. While at school, she apparently excelled as a gymnast, which was now coming in handy as she fled from the mall cops. As chance would have it, four of the female members of the X-Men turned up at the mall at this time, along with a laughable band of mutant hunters who deemed themselves M-Squad. Unfortunately, the hunters had gotten a hold of some impressive technology which allowed them to capture Jubilee. Psylocke rescued her, and during her rescue, Jubilee revealed that she was an orphan. At the end of the issue, as the ladies of X-Men teleported away, Jubilee managed to sneak away with them, thus beginning her association with the X-Men. Over the next few years, more details would be revealed about Jubilee's origin. While working with Wolverine, Jubilee found herself in a time rift that allowed her to witness the night when she lost her parents. Jubilee had long believed that her parents were killed in a car accident, but now it was discovered that their deaths were arranged by two thugs named Reno and Molokai, and that it was all a case of mistaken identity. The crooks were hired to kill the couple who lived next door, whose last name, coincidentally, was also Lee. While this story cleared up some information about Jubilee's past, it didn't address the character's knowledge concerning her pyrotechnical powers. This was corrected in 1997's Generation X story, during which Jubilee revealed that she first demonstrated her abilities during a much earlier run-in with mall security guards. To alleviate boredom, Jubilation liked to engage in a little shoplifting with a friend. One day, when it seemed like she was about to get nabbed by the police, she panicked and her powers manifested themselves in an explosion of light and energy. In recent years, Jubilee gained new powers and then lost them all. But that wasn't the end of her. Using technology to give herself artificial powers, she rechristened herself Wondra and joined the New Warriors. Thanks to the X-Men's popularity, Jubilee has been seen frequently on TV. She was featured in several of the X-Men animated TV series, as well as the Generation X made-for-TV movie. Diligent fans can also catch a glimpse of her in the X-Men feature films. Are you the fan of Jubilee? There must be one of you out there. For more comic book origins, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. What a kick! Can we do it again?